What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video is finding you well. Day one of Eastern trip. Headed to South Carolina. According to Google, who will probably get me killed at some point. Uh, says five hours, 18 minutes. Says I'll get there at 2.46, 2.35 Eastern time. I gotta stop and get some groceries put down the app. Um, I've already got everything loaded in the truck. We're eastbound and down, as they would say. So I will bring you along for this journey. I've seen some pictures. Danny and them got there. Danny got there yesterday. He said it is beautiful. Said the leaves are perfect. I, I can't wait. I'm thrilled. And even though I have all of my gear in the back of my truck, the tent's not coming out until Sunday night. So you'll have to hang out and figure out or be pooped down there in the comments if you think you know why it's not coming out and what I've done. And there's nothing behind the truck. So we'll talk a little bit about it and I'll have a video to itself for about what's going on but uh let's get down the road and enjoy the scenery because there's going to be some pretty i mean the leaves are getting about right here in middle tennessee i know in eastern tennessee they're spot on i'm not getting gas um i got 187 or so miles to go before i need gas so i'm gonna get down the road a little bit before i get gas and uh best thing is i'll meet beat the i will be in between rush hours and knoxville um, so that's awesome. As Knoxville, Knoxville sucks driving through. It's as bad as Chattanooga anymore. It's just like Nashville. Nashville sucks driving through. Turn left on the left um, road. So I just want to get some miles down first and then we'll stop and get gas and probably have to get some more coffee as I've only had one cup this morning. That's not going to work. All right, real quick. We uh, first gas stop. I'm all the way into Crossville. Did not stop at Bucky's because I didn't want to get into all that. So I stopped at a 7-Eleven, got some coffee, got a little bit of water, getting a little bit of go-go juice. And our next stop, probably try, I'm gonna try to get through Knoxville before I stop again. Get on the other side of Knoxville, closer to Sevierville, so. Anyway, trip's going good so far. The clouds are kind of breaking up a little bit. Look behind me. I don't know if you can tell, it's probably too much glare. Um, so, it is what it is. It's not um, bright and sunny, but it's also not uh, raining. So, I'm, I, I'll take that. But uh, we're going to put the gas in the tank. Get on down the interstate, guys. Table Rock State Park Headquarters Visitor Center. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. There's a the lake down there. And it feels phenomenal today. But I am walking to the Visitor Center to check in. And I'll go over to the campsite and we got to get camp set up. So hang tight. Okay, headed over to the campsite right now. I just seen Danny's truck back there. So I have been through Pisgah National Forest, Cherokee National Forest, cross the Continental Divide, and I'm at Table Rock State Park. And I've, I know you saw in the beginning, or just a minute ago, where I was walking over to the visitor center. And you get a glimpse of the mountains from over there, and you get a really good shot of them actually. It's a gorgeous area. Um, I'm actually taking a scenic route to the camp spot. I could have gone, could have gone another way, but I said, yeah, I'll just go this way. She goes, well, if you're pulling a trainer, I said, I'm not pulling a trainer. It's just a truck. I'm just a good old pick them up, truck them. But it's pretty back here. 
I'm gonna have to get out and explore tomorrow morning. And I got a little bit of Sunday I'm, I can explore. Just God, I got I get to where I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna do some real looking at the weather. Um, man, it's changing again. Oh, I think we're fixing to have a view. I think. I know it's kind of in and out dark. I do apologize. This is kind of like that road at Fall Creek Falls that you can drive around and see. See, oh, there it is. There it is, guys. There it is, Table Rock. Man, that's gorgeous. Look at that. I think it's Table Rock. I could have pulled over, got out, and looked, but I didn't. I'll bleep bloop it down at the bottom if it's something different. Man, that was a view and a half. Um, I can't wait till, I don't know, I mean, it's 3.30 here. I get my stuff put away. Camp set up. Like I said, there's a surprise waiting for me at camp. I hope it's there. It's going to suck if it's not. It should be. Um, but I got a surprise. I get camp set up. We may get out and explore a little bit. Now, I've got a map. I got Gaia. I got everything I need. What is this? White Oaks picnic area, campgrounds, cabins. Okay, that's something totally different. Sorry. Yeah. I'm... Did you enjoy that? Hemlock shelter. I'm not sure where the shelter is that we're going to be using. This place is big. It's hum humongous. Humongous among us. Oh, oh, bump. Uh, bump, 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 bump. Table Rock hiking trails. Stop. Look. Yeah, I get over a 15 foot high speed bump. And I keep going around. Alright, I'll stop this now and I'll bring you back here in a few minutes. Alright everybody, I'm here. I'm at camp. Just backed in. I have got to set up camp now real quick. Not a bad camp spot at all. Awesome camp spot, actually. Um, beautiful surroundings, actually, around me. Beautiful. So anyways, um, I'm going to snap my fingers and camp will be set up right over there. Okay. So the big secret was I rented this for the weekend. I, yeah, I rented this for the weekend. This is mine for the weekend. Um, had it brought in, set up, and all I gotta do is get out of the truck, go in, sleep tonight, eat, fix supper, all that good stuff. But this is a Coleman, and I will go into bigger details later in a separate video. I'm gonna check this thing out first. Okay, it's nothing I need to mess with. Um, I'm gonna look around real quick, check everything out. And then I'll get back to you. It's got outside lighting. I like this. This is cool. So I'll bring you back when I get inside. Okay, I am inside. Let me find something real quick. Because it's... I'm about to find the thermostat. It's cool in here. But there's the bed. There's the keys. Remotes for the TV. Radio. That is probably blowing right in y'all's ear. Oh, found it. Oh, going the wrong way. Alright, we'll mess with that. There's the bathroom, shower. 
don't know I'll be using that. It's got a refrigerator, nice little refrigerator, freezer. I don't really need that. We have a stove, oven. Oh, this is sweet. This is like microwave. All right. But yeah, it's yeah, I'm under this. It's a little bit uh, excessive for what I need, but um, this will work. I'm camping in class this weekend, guys. <laughs> but I'll bring you back here in a little bit. Uh, right now, I'm going to get my suitcase out of the truck. And tip. Settle back. Well, what's going on, everybody? We, it's dinner time. Sorry I haven't filmed in a little while. Steak and asparagus. Fried in the pan. Um, asparagus is overdone. Anyway, sorry I hadn't talked in a little bit. Um, Ron from Pennsylvania is here. He is actually the next camping spot over. Uh, campsite. Oh, I'm saying camping spot. Campsite over. Danny come over and checked out the trailer and hung out briefly. And um, oh wow, uh, we talked with Ron and everything, and I didn't know Ron was staying right next to me. That's cool. Um, not sure where the South Carolina guys are. How is it us Tennessee guys and Pennsylvania people showed up first? Anyway. Well, I'm understanding they're the next two camping spots over. So... I don't know. I'm roughing it in this camper. Ron will be sleeping in the back of his truck. I'm not sure what other two got going on. Danny is roughing it. Sorry. Danny's roughing it in a uh, cabin. I don't know how he's going to make it. If I could have gotten a cabin, I would have too. But this is a pretty sweet setup. It's just right for just me. Um, I'd have to have one a little bigger for me and my wife. I need a king size bed. But anyway, meet the steak. And then. People show up, we'll talk. Okay, so this is the end of first day, day one, video one. In the camper. <laughs> I will have to admit, uh, thanks Danny for showing me some things I didn't know about. I got all the lights on right now in here. <clears throat> and you can turn them off and there's that. And if I want to turn that one off, I got that. You know, a little ambiance. Anyway, didn't realize it until we were sitting here that, like I said, I don't know nothing about these things. It's even got LEDs on the outside. Sweet. Uh, does that mean I want one? I don't know. Still jury out. Um, bathroom worked I mean, use the bathroom uh, got a little couch that center folds down you got cup holders that kind of thing got TV sitting there <clears throat> so everybody's gone to their campsites um, so how it is Danny's staying at the cabins so it's me Ron from out and about with Ron I know it's not the full channel name you got Swamp Stalker is the next campsite. And Ronnie 
Um, I'll leave a link down to his channel too. I can't remember it off. <laughs> but kind of funny, I've been watching Ronnie for years. You know, I think we've even conversed a few times. But so we're all four in a row, which is kind of crazy that that happened that way. But that's how it happened. Um, I got tonight, tomorrow night here, debating on, um, really seriously debating on Sunday night camping. Um, let me, let me do some of this. Hang on. Okay. So Sunday night, what's going on? There's a front major front coming in. Um, I live in, of course, living in the Nashville, Middle Tennessee area. According, let me go over this with y'all. According to Weather Channel, right now, if I was to go by them, um, at, at Roan Mountain, the crazy thing is, let's see if they've updated it, changed it any. Let's see, daily. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. I forgot to bring the tripod in. Uh, Sunday they're showing a 13% chance of rain. Monday they're showing a 48% chance. Now it's weird because Monday morning partly cloudy in the morning increasing clouds with periods of rain showers later in the day. High 67 winds west, west northwest 10 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. They have dropped the rain chance. The rain was 70% chance. Uh, now, Monday night, rain gets a lot heavier. Now, that you got to remember, that's in east, far east Tennessee. Now, where I live, Mount Juliet, Tennessee, where is it? There it is. Daily. Uh, come on. They do have super good Wi-Fi. I've got good service here. Uh, been able to talk to the wife and everything. So Sunday, at home, cloudy with occasional rain and shower, occasional showers for the afternoon. High around 70. Winds west southwest, five to ten miles an hour. So even their winds are going to be different at home, which makes no sense. Sunday night showers early, becoming a steady rain late. Low near 50. Winds northwest no, north. Northwest, 5 to 10, chance of rain 80%. Then Monday, rain early, then remaining cloudy with showers in the afternoon, much cooler, high 52. So I've got decisions to make because that's just going to go east, I would think. I'm going to watch the local news here and see what happens because I just got to base my decision off of what I want to, what I want to get into. Um, like I was saying earlier, my site has a bunch of trees in it. What I could do is pop up my hammock and a tarp and hammock camp Sunday night. So that way when I got up, the only thing I would have to tear down is that. So if by chance it does rain, then the only thing getting wet is my hammock. I mean my tarp for my hammock and my, that's it, hopefully. Uh, rest of it I hope I can keep dry then I wouldn't have to tear down a camp that's soaking wet put it in a truck and then have to put it back up or go home Sunday so I got decisions to make life decisions to make so I guess you just have to hang out for the videos and find out what happens but that's it for this video I appreciate you watching sorry it wasn't a lot of action today but we had to get here first um I will do a video on the camper and how I got this coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. But tomorrow's YouTuber meetup. There's actually two more, two or three more channels coming tomorrow. I don't think they're camping. They're actually just hanging out. One guy's kayak fishing while he's here. Uh, there's a nice lake and kayak fish. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll get out and explore that tomorrow. We'll fly the drone. We'll get some real good footage off of it and more footage off of this. So stay tuned. See you tomorrow. Be prepared.